Is there politics or isn't there politics? There is. There is. What is your view of this, of the delayed uh, and now deferred uh, uh, hanging? Uh, no, the delay is unreasonable. Uh, courts in all civilized countries, of course, our own Supreme Court has said repeatedly, you cannot have undue delay between the date of conviction and uh, you can't have this, what is called death row. You can't keep them for decades together and then you go and execute them. So that is one thing in favor of these people. Another thing is one of the four condemned prisoners has been, the death sentence has been commuted to the life. So that must be giving them hope. As far as the conviction is concerned, I am not going to sit in judgment on the verdict of the Supreme Court. Three eminent senior judges of the Supreme Court who heard the appeal for three long months and that of the uh, wisdom of the President of India. I am not going to sit in judgment. You can argue on other matters. To say that they have been framed, I am surprised because the people who have been praising me for the fairest trial, fairest investigation, and to come out and say it's been framed, and it's neither, they are not true to themselves, and also it amounts to contempt of the court also. They are commenting on the decision it's of the right. highest court of India, and to say these misleading stories to the public, the gullible people may believe it, but no one will believe because we have been very, very careful. We have gone from crime to the criminal. I have resisted all attempts at political exercise in the investigation and trial with great difficulty, facing the trial, at the same time handling two commissions of inquiry, we said pursuit of truth, and that's how the, the whole world has admired the investigation, and the lawyers who appeared for the uh, accused in the trial court, and later they have said, they all say you have been the fairest of the investigations. To propagate today, now it's a framed case, it is unfair, they know they are telling a lie, trying to mistreat the people, and they have praised me, telling, this is the fairest investigation we can think of. And they should not no, go and mislead the public on this ground. You can appeal for mercy, it's a different matter. To say it's a framed case, it's a reflection. Sitting in judgment over the Supreme Court of India, you are bringing them to contempt. They are liable for contempt of court proceedings. M Mr. Suresh and Kamini Jaswal, would either, either of you want to respond? Anab. Yes, one second. Okay, Soli Sorabji is coming in. Yes, Mr. Sorabji. Anab, why are we getting derailed? Question is, there have been, the conviction has been upheld by the highest court of the land. After detailed hearing, lengthy hearing, no use questioning that judgment now. That judgment is a thin finality. Their mercy petition has been rejected. Now, mercy rejection, you cannot really question that in court of law unless you show some malafides, which is absolutely very, very difficult to prove. The only question is, because of the delay in carrying out the sentence, the delay which resulted in being, they're being kept at the death row, then the other principle promulgated by the Supreme Court comes into picture, comes into play, namely that that was unusual and cruel punishment, the long delay, assuming they didn't contribute to it, and then the death sentence gets replaced by a life imprisonment. Now let the court decide it. Keep the politicians out. Court will decide whether there was indulgence or delay or not, and then give them relief, which is, is, uh, which is commuting the life uh, capital but, but, sentence but, but, of life imprisonment. Don't yeah. go into but this was... Mr. Uh, Mr. Sorabji, uh, well, aren't people inflaming passions? I mean, this, this death penalty is supposed to be carried out, if I'm not mistaken, was to be carried out on the 9th of September. So, Mr. Suresh and Kamini Jaswal, let me go to Mr. Suresh first. Yeah. Aren't people like Mr. Vaiko inflaming passions and injecting a great degree of politics into what should be a straightforward, straightforward, straightforward it's legal true. argument and defense? Perari Valan has taken the legal recourse. No, no, he, Why is this issue being politicized? No, he has gone further. Yeah. Why goes uh, no, no, I, I find it very difficult to, un to Yes, Mr. Suresh first. I'll come to you, Mr. Uh, Suresh. Uh, Arnab, I find it very difficult to accept with you that, the, uh, the, that there's something dirty about politicians. Politics. I don't know. These are your words, are not mine. No, no, these are your words. I'll and tell you exactly what my words are. My words are. No, no, don't, you, don't put words. No, wait, you allow me the to question talk. Is you talk right no, no, but you, you, you're using the wrong words. I must immediately correct you. I must immediately correct you so that you don't use the wrong words. The right words are this. Aren't politicians inflaming passions by injecting politics into what is a decision of the Supreme Court? That, those are my words. So I don't want you to quote me wrongly. Yes. See, once the Supreme Court has decided, 
the, the final decision of the Supreme Court is a judicial verdict and you can't go beyond that, that's part. But the Supreme Court itself has said after the end of the judicial process is when the clemency process starts. And the clemency process is not necessarily okay. curtailed by the judicial process or the findings of the judicial court. Okay. And that is, the, that is the ground on which we have put Mr. forward. Swami. And many other groups are also supporting us. And we are not political. Okay. Now, I don't think, in the way, I think much of this is being politicized by the media, not by the people themselves. Okay, let me get in with, with Dr. Swami. Dr. Swami wanted to rebut you. Take your point, Mr. Suresh. Dr. Swami. Yeah, f first of all, you see, Mr. Vaiko has repeatedly said that Tamil Nadu will secede if these people are hanged. Now, that is, that is the politics of the worst kind. And, and certainly nobody is going to be blackmailed by that. Secondly, this was not an ordinary crime. Here is a prime minister who is being held responsible for a policy which was a resolution of the parliament. And he has been personally held responsible. After he was assassinated, the LTT gloated. Uh, but as soon as the Supreme Court judgment came, they started asking for mercy. Now, this, these people are terrorists. Everybody knows they are terrorists. The world declared terrorists. There is no question of showing any compassion beyond the normal process. The normal process has taken very long. That is true. But the president ultimately has decided to reject it. And therefore, the matter is, should be, there should be a closure to keep on opening it, saying that we will apply again. There, you can apply again, but it has no value at all. I think the government must set a precedent by showing there were no more a soft state. They must uh, execute these three people. As far as the fourth person is concerned, her commutation to life imprisonment was an illegal act. It was done by the governor when it should have been before the president. That is a matter we can take up later in the courts. Okay. Uh, Kamini Jaiswal, final quick word from you here. Uh, yeah. I want to come back to, to the, to the legal part of the debate. What we are talking yes. of, see the Supreme Court has found, given a specific founding, uh, finding that this was not a TADA Act. The Supreme Court has given a specific finding that these people were taking revenge for a particular resolution. So let Dr. Swami not talk of that. But here what we are talking was whether these people should be hung or not hung. Hmm. Nobody is talking, nobody is questioning the judgment of the Supreme Court here. We are only questioning the fact whether these people, after such a long lapse of time, having been in the death row for so long, are entitled to get some compassionate hearing by the court on the basis of a judgment of the Supreme Court, which says that if a person is kept in the death row for so long, they have, their rights have been violated and they cannot be hung. That's a very simple issue. Now, politics, no politics, people decide so, to politicize politics, the issue. You can't stop politicians. No, but politics is there. And I want to quote, you know, Maruram versus Government of India. There's one case where the Supreme Court has very clearly laid out that clemency cannot be granted when the president or governor considers the mercy petition or clemency petition on the basis of caste, religion, region, religion or political loyalty. That becomes an extraneous consideration. That's right. Yeah. Isn't it true, Mr. Swami, hence giving mercy to these three assassins who could violate those directives, Mr. Swami, uh, Mr. Sorabji? No, no, no none of that is uh, invoked see, here. Now. Because there is no allegation uh, that uh, Pratibha Patil is, was influenced by caste or politics. Or no, no, but it's, no, no, it, it's certainly not. She has taken the decision uh, purely on the recommendation of the Home Ministry. Yes. And the Home Ministry... Uh, yes. was in was is in coalition with no. the DMK, no. which has been very supportive sure. of these uh, assassins. Sure, but so the question of political bias doesn't arise at do, all. Doesn't arise matter. at all. But basic, the principle is maintained that you cannot allow any extraneous considerations, isn't it? The principle is you cannot allow any extraneous considerations to come to decide whether or not a person should face the ultimate Correct. penalty. Correct. That is the whole issue. That's the issue. Yes, Mr. Sorabji. Correct. Uh, no. uh, no. Correct. There, there has uh, been no, no extraneous... In, in, there, there should not. Please yes. understand the constitutional uh, no. position. Can I come in? Coming just to one second, Mr. Sorabji. No, just a minute. Just a minute. When you say president or governor, it means the state government is the case of governor. Yes. And the central government is the case of president. That the sh president is the shorthand for central government. So central government, when it advises the president to reject the clemency petition, President is normally bound by it. If he wants the central government to reconsider it, he sends it back. But if the central government reaffirms it, there's an end of the matter. Why are we arguing those things? These are final. Only window is, as Kamina Jaiswal said, yes. they can make use of the Supreme Court judgments which say 
if you are on the death row for an enormously long time, then your capital punishment may be commuted to life imprisonment. That's all. No question of manifesto, no question of extraneous considerations. These are legal principles. Only question we may have. Uh, Really, debates and thereafter are now on your channel is why does it take so long of for course. the Home Ministry to decide maybe the there's, petition? Maybe there's That's politics shameful. there. Maybe it's politics there. I mean, I'm just, it seems to be stating the uh, obvious. Know, maybe there there's is, politics there. there. Is yet Suresh, another principle is this. Yes. Uh, Arnab, if I can come in, yes, just please. adding to what uh, Kamini and uh, Mr. Soli Sarabji have said. The Supreme Court has also said that at the time of clemency, you're not going back into the original crime committee because that's final. You also have to take apart from the correct, delay, correct. the whole issue of the conduct of the accused, the possibility of recidivism, the possibility that they may commit crimes again. This is what the Supreme Court has said. Assassin. This is what President Abdul Kalam had said, a five-point agenda that he what? had said. What? And on those grounds, when you look at the conduct of these accused, yeah. uh, after their after their arrest in 1991 till date, there is not a single prison offence against Mr. them. Mr. Suresh. They have helped Mr. 100 Suresh. to 200 you can't, Mr. Suresh. You can't prisoners get educated and come out. Mr. Mr. Sorabji, yes, Mr. Sorabji. Mr. Suresh, you can't sit in appeal of the judgment which rejects the clemency petition. You can only challenge that in very rare cases yes. where you can establish that that was on account of some malafari considerations. You can't say, no, there was so long, there was no bad record. True, true. true. Then there won't be any end. There has to be some finality. At the end some the people have to be executed. As soon as possible, in my mind. The, the, the issue is at the end of the day, isn't it, Mr. Karthik? And the, whatever the conduct of the criminals, suppose they conducted themselves extremely well and they were, they were absolutely, you know, uh, honorable citizens after assassinating a prime minister. Do you say, I'm, okay, you may have assassinated a prime minister, but you, you behave very well after that? I mean, this, this argument seems to be taking it to the extreme in a way, Mr. Karthik. No, 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 this is no, it is uh, having the cake and eating it to Arnav. No, Supreme no. Court, you can't say Supreme Court for everything. Supreme Court says take into account the conduct of the accused after when they have been in jail. Certainly. Possi possibilities of recidivism, yes. possibilities of but, reforming. But reformative justice is part and parcel of what the Supreme Court yeah, says. But, but, but so and it's on that count. We are but, not talking but about... But the person has assassinated a prime minister. A person has assassinated terrorists. a prime minister of India. A Prime Minister of India and that cannot be completely disregarded. Yes. It's a question of it's a question of precedent for the country. We are, that is the fundamental point here. We can't take it down to such minute detail and then say, let's forget that angle. Mr. Dr. Mr. Karthikeyan, precedent. No, but it's very funny. You want to pick and choose what you want. If you're already taking a stand in pro-death, then there's no question for discussion and debate. No, no, have, I'm putting the question, isn't it about the how many Prime Ministers have been there assassinated since independence? Is that is that a factor or not? See, it is. I, I can't hear you, Mr. Mr. Karthikeyan. You know, all over the world. It's also a factor that they are terrorists. All the we can't have the same standard true. for all other. True, 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 Mr. Karthikeyan. I, all over the all over the world, all the courts have held that it is one of the factors that can be taken into consideration for uh, committing uh, the sentences or giving you know reprieve. That's right. One of the factors, but that's not the main factor at all. It is there one of the factors, the interest of the society and interest of law and order, national security, uh, morale. Several, there are several things. Sure. I got a long list of things which is uh, laid down by the various courts, but I'm not going to read it. That is not an irrelevant fact. Their conduct in custody is also one of the factors to be taken into consideration. Yes, as is the fact that this is an extreme of extreme case and it's the assassination of a Prime Minister, ladies and gentlemen, only for want of time tonight. And I, I, I must say this, we put a question mark there, politics versus justice, question mark has been put out there. We're not taking a clear position, but to disregard the fact that there is a political angle to the debate today in Tamil Nadu and nationally will also be fooling ourselves. We need to be realistic in this. We'll follow the story through, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much.